video, I'm going to walk you through how to write your songs just using MIDI and make it really quick and easy for you to get song sections and complete songs finished. So that demo you just heard was all using MIDI. I'll quickly go over the MIDI instruments I was using in this session. Drums I was using was Get Good Drums, One Kit Wonder, the Architects one. And for the bass, I was just using Submission Audio's Ding Bass for the DI. And that was running into Parallax by Neural DSP. And for the guitars, I was using Solemn Tones, the Odin 2. And for the rhythms, I was just using the Panned Rhythms Expanded. And for the lead guitars, I was just using the Odin 2 as well, but with the preset Panned Leads Expanded. So to start writing your song sections and your songs with the MIDI, you can start off with one of two ways, either the drums or the guitars. I'm gonna start off with the drums here, but this whole process can be reversed. I'll show you later in the video as we go through it. An easy way to start crafting a song is starting with the drums. Either start with a drum groove pack or you could build your own groove. So this is the groove I have for the song here. And the next step would be to pick the key of the song. So this song is in the key of C sharp minor. You can now start picking the notes and chords to use from that key of the song. So a tip to do that. So this is our guitar track here. Go into the MIDI, just draw in your MIDI here and then go into it. So this is our guitar MIDI track here. So a good way to start if you are starting with the guitars is you can use this feature in most doors have this and you just go to the key snap button here and you can select your key that you want to start working with. So I've got C sharp and you can choose if it's major, minor, natural, minor, anything you like there. So I'm going to pick natural, minor. And that's a quick and easy way to get all the right notes and chords, especially if you don't know music theory. A really quick way to get started here is get your drums that you've got here that you've started either programmed yourself or using a groove and copy that MIDI track to the bass channel. What we can do is open up that copy of the MIDI drums that are in the bass here and we can select everything except for the kick drum and just hit delete. What that's gonna do is gonna leave us with a hit on every single kick drum or the bass on one note, and we can tweak this further as we write our song. This is what it's gonna sound like once we've just copied it. As you can see there, a groove has already started really easily, even though we don't have the right notes yet or any changes. So what we can do is we can do control A on our bass MIDI, and we can move all of our MIDI notes to the start of the note of our key of our song that we wanna choose. So for this song, we wanna start on F sharp. So now we're at a good starting point where we can add some more notes and build chords from this, from our key. Once again too, we could hit the key snap here as well if we wanted to hit the key snap and snap some of these bass notes and change them around. The bass notes are gonna be following the guitar, that's why we're starting here because they're gonna be all the root notes that we're gonna be building off for the song. And the best way to do this is just experiment with different notes of that key. So you can go to each bar here, maybe go to the second bar and then raise these different ones to a different note and see what it sounds like. And we don't have to have 16th notes here like we do on the grid here. We can expand these to make them longer. So you can see this is a really quick way to start getting something going instantly just by having everything in time ready to go. This can build a song really quickly, especially if you know what you're doing when you're picking the right key. Everything's in time here and we can customize it as we go along. So once you stumble upon something you like, you can just copy the bass root notes like we did with the drums. Just copy this bass MIDI with all the root notes and paste it to your guitar channel. So then we can start customizing the guitar, either doing single notes and adding some extra notes for like little runs, or we could build some chords and build some triads out of those in our key. So to give you an example how to build these chords, if we're using our key, we can use this key snap. Say if we go C and we go to C major. 
What we can do is we can write out the scale that we're using very easily using this key snap. And once we have our scale there, we can also make the chords that come with the scale. So a quick and easy way to make the chords that you need for the scale that you're choosing. Just copy the scale to another bar. So to build any triad chord, it's always the one, three, and five. So an easy way to do that with MIDI, you play a note, then you skip a note, and then you play a note. So an easy way to do this with the chord. So for the first chord, which is C, we'll play a note, which is C. We're gonna skip a note, which is D. We're gonna play a note, which is gonna be added to the chord, which is gonna be an E. Then we're gonna skip a note, which is gonna be F. And then we're gonna play a note and add that note, which is gonna be the G. So now we have all the chords and the notes of the scale for our example here, which is in C major. And we can experiment with adding these to the beat of the drums. So if you're not too familiar with music theory, basically what we just added here are all the chords that are relative to the scale that we're using for this example, I was just using C major. So the first chord that goes with the C major scale is gonna be C major. And the second chord is gonna be D minor, then E minor, F major, G major, a minor and then B diminished and then back to C, which was the root note of the chord. So C major again. So now if you were doing it that way and you had the chords ready to go, then you obviously you build the drums to follow those chords and the rhythm of the guitars. Because it's all MIDI, it's very easy to copy and paste and get everything in time with each other very quickly and come up with ideas and concepts. So we can add our lead guitars and maybe some other things. I actually did a lead guitar here. Well, I actually played the lead on my guitar originally, and that's how I kind of got the groove from that, which sounds like this. So with that example, then I put in the lead MIDI guitar in here. As you can see, it's kind of overlapping to kind of replicate what you'd be playing if you were playing notes, letting them ring out. And then I just recorded some of the MIDI guitars to some tracks here for some effects using the same guitars. So there's no right or wrong way to write music. It usually happens in a lot of different ways for each song or section. It's just one method I like to use from time to time and it works for my workflow, making it super quick to get little parts of songs created and some ideas flowing. And one other nice thing about using the MIDI is you can import it into like a software like Guitar Pro and then you can actually tab out the song so you don't forget it very easily without actually writing it in manually. See, so I tabbed out the guitar section for the song here, which sounds like this. So yeah, that obviously doesn't sound perfect, but at least I know the notes and I can remember them if I want to go play the song and I don't forget them just by looking at the notes. Because sometimes we write stuff and we forget about them. So with it being MIDI, we can just import it into something like Guitar Pro very quickly. And then once it's in there, we can have it saved and come back to it whenever we need to. So hopefully this helped you out if you're new to songwriting and creating songs using MIDI. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see some more videos like this and I'll see you all in the next video.